The death of a loved one is not only a sad occasion, but it can also be stressful as well. Having a will can't take away all the pain, but it can help eliminate some of the strain. Attorney Kendall Cockrell joins us to answer questions about creating your final wishes. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I think a lot of people think, I don't need a will. It's not necessary. Almost everybody thinks that. Yes. Um, Why is it so necessary? What does it do for you? Well, one of the things that, that people don't realize is a will isn't about what you have now. It's about what you have at some point in the future. And, and we don't know what that's going to be. Right. Um, one of the most common excuses I get when I tell people, you know, you really need a will, they say, I don't have anything. Uh, for four years, I worked for Provost Humphrey and I handled the wills for them before I went out on my own. And unfortunately, working in that line of work, we see a lot of tragic and, and su sudden injuries that lead to death. Um, in those situations, that family and, and that individual who passed away is left with a large lawsuit. It's a mm -hmm. lot of money. That's just one example. Um, but, but there's a lot of things that can happen between now and when you pass away, and you don't know what you're going to own. Um, and the other thing that a lot of people don't realize is everybody in Texas has a will. And if you haven't written one, the legislature in Austin has. And it's probably not going to be exactly how you would how do you it if you do it, it yourself. Yeah. Um, I, not everybody that passes away has their will probated. But for those who do, um, if, if you have to have your estate probated, uh, it's a lot easier situation for those you've left behind if you leave a will. All right, explain probate to us. Certainly. Uh, when somebody passes away in Texas uh, and in most states, uh, that person's belongings, what they own, is uh, now belongs to their estate. And in order for that estate to be passed to their heirs, if they don't have a will, or their beneficiaries, which means the people they've left it to in a will, mm -hmm. that person's estate has to be probated. In Jefferson County, you go before Judge Brannick, and uh, he is the one who uh, admits that will to probate. And so one of the things that people don't realize as well is, you know, a, a will is a relatively small cost. Um, even, if, even if you go to my office or another attorney's office here in town, it, it's not going to cost you more than a couple of hundred dollars to get a will done. And there's now some great online alternatives. Um, and I want to visit about that in a minute. Yeah, do, do you recommend that? Because there are websites where you can write your own will now. You know, most of those sites, and uh, I don't want to get anybody in trouble because I don't know who advertises on what station, <laughs> but uh, they'll say in their advertisements and they say at the bottom of, the law, uh, of their website, we're not lawyers. This is not a law firm. We're not giving legal advice. Uh, in spite of that, a lot of people choose to use those websites. What you need to realize is if you use that website, that's a do-it-yourself will. You're on your own. And I read a great article just this morning about uh, talking about that and saying, you can do your own plumbing at your house. Right. You can. But uh, if something goes wrong and you then have to call in a plumber not only to fix the original problem, but in my the case, whatever you uh, yes. whatever I've created, right. uh, it can be even more costly. Mm -hmm. Same is true with those do-it-yourself do wills. For a long time, I was telling people, you know, those really aren't the best. You need to talk to an attorney. But we live in a digital age, and uh, people go to the Internet for a whole lot of things. And um, <laughs> so my law firm, we started an alternative. And we have an online consultation with our law firm so you do get an attorney drafted will online for roughly the same price as those national companies. Okay, great. That's something you might want to check out then. And you uh, have a, an event coming up on November 9th, especially for veterans. Yes. Tell us about that. Very happy to be involved with this. I've been involved with the, uh, uh, the Jefferson County Bars uh, Veterans Initiative for several years now. I, I really believe everybody should have a will. I've got to keep the lights on, but uh, for our veterans uh, who qualify, we do something very special, um, not just for wills, but for any legal needs. It's a legal clinic that's going to be happening on November 9th at 8.30 a.m. at the American Legion uh, here in town. Very good, and that's from 8.30 until noon, and if you have any questions about that, you can call the Jefferson County Bar Association. We only have about a minute left. What would you say uh, to people as the first step in uh, 
creating those final wishes? Just do it. Uh, whether you come see me, whether you come see another attorney here in Texas, um, whether you go to, to my website, or there's some other attorneys in Texas now who are doing the same thing. Uh, get it done. Um, you can't even imagine the questions might, that might come up after your death. That's exactly right. That so, is exactly yeah, right. And this way you know they're taken care of, and if they do have to go through that process, it's going to cost them the least amount of money possible. There is a cost of probate, but having a will brings that price way down. And it also, in the event that you have small children, you can specify who you would like You can. You can state your preference uh, as who will be their guardian in their will. So many reasons to get a will. That's right. And you advise uh, getting professional help I, I, so that there are no questions or legal I would advise a mechanic if you need a transmission changed, <laughs> and I'd advise a lawyer if you need legal documents. Very good. All right, and you're located? I'm at 2 Acadiana Court uh, with the Cockrell Law Firm here in town or online at texaswills.com. Very good. Thanks for sharing your exper expertise. And thank you for joining us. This has been Southeast Texas Weekly. Have a great day.